what is the ancient art that guarantees success? You can be a really good painter, you can sing really well, it won't guarantee a career. Actually, this art has been there for over 2,000 years. And not only guarant it guarantees success, it changes the world every day since over 2,000 years. Rhetoric, the art of speech. Can you name just one important historical leader that has changed the world that doesn't master the art of speech? The problem is, it can be for good. We know Martin Luther King and his speech. But it's also for bad. Adolf Hitler was a really good speaker. So this tool, this art, has the power to persuade, to convince crowds to follow you and your ideas. It's a really powerful tool. You, we don't want it in the wrong hands. But if that's so important, so powerful, why don't we practice that? You might not notice it, but the art of speech, the art of communication is everywhere. Everything you read, you hear, everything you say or write, noticing it or not, is part of the art of speech. You have to accept that you're surrounded by it and live by it and improve it if you want to be successful. The problem is, the number one, the king form of art of speech is that, right here, right now, being on a stage in front of a crowd. Problem, public speaking is the second biggest sphere after death. <laughs> What can be so scary about it? Like, you're not going to stand out and just kill me because I'm boring. <laughs> you might judge me, think it was lame, but in two days you will have forgotten it. So why is it that we're so scared of it? Because we know how powerful it is. We know how much we can win from doing it well. I mean, it changes the word. So we're afraid of what we can win if, and lose if we don't do it well, so we don't try. You don't want maybe to change the word, but maybe you want to change your word. In a job interview, um, writing an email, or solving a crisis at home, you need to master the art of communication. To solve problems and to move forward. It's your responsibility to find the words to change your word. It's your responsibility not to leave, let the people that have the wrong intentions to have the place you deserve to have. What is the risk if you just try to improve your communication? Or worse, what is the risk you're taking by not improving your communication. Thank you very much. <laughs>